If you struggle with firing team members, this podcast is for you. How are you? And welcome to The Imperfect Entrepreneur. So excited about what we got going on this weekend, July 4th weekend. Uh, we've got a trip planned to a safari with my kids. No, I'm not going on a safari. I'm going to Virginia. And I think it's basically a farm where they got llamas and cows and pigs. But I'm excited to go there with the kids, the wife, and uh, make a great weekend out of the July 4th. So today was, was a day that we all have to go through as business owners. And today was a day where I had to let go one of my team members that I've actually been with the longest. And they've been an integral part of McKinsey Construction and help grow McKinsey to what it is today. And there always comes a time where, where this situation happens, where we no longer are partners, we're no longer team members, we're no longer able to continue to work together because we've gotten out of alignment. And the things that you're doing are not only hurting the business, they're potentially could put the business out of business. And we can't have that happen. So I want to walk through this easy framework of how you can let a team member go and fire a team member, basically, without there being all this emotion, without there being this fear and this and this and this internal uh, ambivalence where you can't actually just just separate. So the way I do it is I, I walk through the vision. And I basically let them know the vision of the business, right? And the vision of the business is to provide quality construction for the federal government so that they can go out and serve 300 other Americans. And in that process of of serving those Americans and in providing quality construction for the feds and the military, like we have to be on our game. We can't miss things and continually miss things where it's going to potentially hurt our reputation, hurt the project, and hurt the overall business from continuing to do work with the federal government. So I let them know the vision, right? And then afterwards, you let the person know the things that you've addressed with them, you know, the things that have come up, the things that the things that are, are, are becoming an issue that need to now be addressed and no longer, we can no longer be team members because of it. So in this situation, you know, we had, we had issues on a project where work was done and the quality of this work was totally not to our level of standard of where we want our projects being done at. And once I found out about it and understood the level of ex- the extent of the, of the work that wasn't brought to our standards, I was ex- took complete ownership with it. I was extremely disappointed. I was extremely let down. I was like, all of those things, but like, I had to take ownership. I had to let the customer know, like, we're going to take care of this. We are going to make this right for you. But at the same time, I removed this person from that situation. And they've been with the company for the longest period of time. They've, they've helped the company honestly get to where it's at. We've done a lot of successful projects together. So I didn't want to, in that moment, just make a rash decision and just totally remove this person from the organization. I wanted to give them an opportunity to make, to make this right. And it wasn't, they weren't going to have an opportunity to make this right on this specific project because it had already gone way past their ability to do so. But I wanted to give this person an opportunity to make this right on other projects because I knew their skill set. I knew what they were capable of doing. So, you know, now we're in the point of, of telling this person what, you know, the, the issues that we've, we've had and that we've addressed with them. Another thing that had come up was, you know, I had gotten uh, uh, a response from my customer telling me that they didn't want this person on their job site anymore. So, like, we have situation number one. We now have situation number two. Less than 30 days later, I'm like, this person literally is, is hurting the business. So what I did is I called that person that day and I said, you know what, you now need to take two weeks away from the company at no net no pay and let's have a conversation at the end of the two weeks. Well, now here is the two weeks and now we're, we're, we're we've now made the decision to go in a different direction. And now we've now we're, we're walking through the, the issues that we had with this person. 
And at the end of walking through the issues you have with the person, you then ask the person, do you now see why this is a problem for the organization? And be quiet. If the person says yes, then you now understand why I need to no longer employ you at this organization, why we no longer can be team members in this organization. And the conversation is basically done. And that's actually what happened at, at you know, the current conversation I had with this team member. He's like, yeah, I totally understand. I feel so bad that I let you down. It was actually, he was starting to bring up a lot of these emotions and what you're going to make the organization fail in the long run. We can't have that. We can't have that because you know, and I know that that's basically what failure looks like. And we can't fail as an organization. So we're no longer going to be team members. So that's, that's how our, our conversation went. Now, if it had gone a different direction, meaning that the person said, you know, I, I, I was doing a great job. I don't think I should leave my job. You know, I, I was performing. I was doing this and that and this, blaming somebody else for why, why the situation happened on the job site. Then at the, once they're done explaining that, at that moment in time is exactly when you say, and for those reasons is exactly why we can no longer be team members because we're totally out of alignment and we need people on our team that are going to be accountable to not only each other, but to our customers and our clients. And we no longer are, are in that position right now. And we no longer can be team members. And it's, it's that simple. It's that simple. Like, Oh, I'm, I'm afraid to say this, or I'm afraid to say that. No, just keep it simple. Keep it straight to the point. The vision of the company, you tell them, the one, two, three are things that that were problems in the company that you had brought up to that person. They were it was clearly documented through emails, through 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 documentation that that the person can't then come back and say like, oh, you never told me this or you never told me that. And and now it's just a time. And now it's just a situation of saying, do you understand why those things are problems? If the person says yes, then well now. You understand why we no longer can be team members. If they say no and try to reason their way out of it, then you say, and that's the exact reason why we can no longer be team members. And now you can now move the organization into a better light, bring on new team members that are going to be in alignment, that are going to be accountable, that are going to be disciplined, that are going to be results oriented, that are going to be transparent, telling you when the situations are happening instead of letting the situation get so big that it's, it's, it's not repairable right? They're going to do the things and have an inspirational mindset, like have a mindset that's going to be positive, thinking about where we're going instead of the failure and the things that are wrong and the other team members that are, that are, that are, that are, that, that they can, they, you know, and it's, and it's, and it's that simple, right? It's that simple to just remove that person from their environment and it's, and, and, and get, keep moving toward where you want to go. And it's honestly like a weight has been released from the company. A weight of uncertainty around this person because you care about them. You, you, you want them to do well. And then they're not doing well. And then now all of a sudden they're putting you in a situation where you have to make a decision. And the decision can be made. And it can be made very simply by following that framework. Vision, the reasons why. And then, well, that's the reason, exact reason why you no longer can be team members. And if they start giving you a bunch of reasons, well, and for that reason, it's exactly why we can no longer be team members. With that, have a great day and continue to build your legacy and build an environment of people that are fueling you towards your goals and your results, not an environment that our people are pulling you down. And sometimes you got to make the tough decision. And the tough decision will always allow you to release and go to where you want to go. So go out there and continue to build your legacy.